I'll run you through the, the number of pitches that I threw and I'll give you the grips for each. Um, I threw a four seam fastball and I, I likened my fingers with the middle finger being a little bit longer to match how the horseshoe pops out. Uh, it would fit right on there and so I'd get equal pressure on the fingertips. So when I put, applied the pressure on that seam, I felt like I could create some, some pull on that seam to kind of get the ball spinning. I threw a, a, a cutter slash slider that, uh, again, I, I'd be at a four seam grip here and I would just move the, the baseball a quarter turn and I'd feel pressure on my middle finger and throw the baseball through the like X. You'd have a, a portion of the X here and I'd just finish the X that way and I'd get a little bit of a dot and the ball would spin. Uh, curveball was pretty basic where I'd try and run my, again, my middle finger up right up along that high seam, tuck my thunder, thumb underneath using the middle portion of that knuckle and really try and pull down, like pulling that lampshade straight down to try and get that rotation on top. The changeup is something that uh, I'm somewhat known for, even though my money pitch was trying to throw strike one with a four seam fastball. But if I did get ahead, I like to use a changeup. The changeup started as a circle change, and we talked about it earlier, where I'd say the AOK -okay sign right on the horseshoe and lay it on the ball like that, and it never felt very comfortable. I always felt like it was gonna slip out, or I'd throw it, and my elbow would get underneath the baseball, and I'd push it uphill, and it wasn't overly effective. Um, we mentioned Donnie Elliott, was a teammate of mine that came over from Atlanta, who had a different grip, and we went from the circle change, the AOK -okay sign, so rotating the baseball around and pinching that seam with these two fingers and laying the two other fingers right on top of the baseball. And what that did, as you can see, it's kind of it moved it from pinky being more involved to pinky being less involved and the focus being on this side of the baseball. I got about 10 mile an hour difference on the changeup when we did that. But when it became really effective is when I, I decided to choke it, I felt like if I'm able to create velocity with the tips of my fingers with a grip like this, what if I were to put it in the back of my palm and anchor it with my thumb? Fingers are up a little bit, but all the pressure is moving from the thumb through the baseball into this pad, these pads of my hand in the back of my palm. And that's when it got kind of fun. That's when it turned into 15, 17 mile an hour difference in my fastball.